Oh, a whole of Hero sub level one. It's one of these caves. Cool. Okay, so this is the first time we've seen an area like this. It's wide open. It also looks great with the stellar orb. I'm kind of I'm starting to change my mind, change my opinion about that that upgrade. Things actually look pretty good. I mean, to be fair, it's a lot more ominous when it's dark, but it's still really cool this way. Oh, I was I was literally just going to say, are there traps? Because this is a wide open area, so there probably shouldn't be any. Here, kill him. Dwarf orange bulborb. You. <laughs> you would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for Pikmin. Oh, you. Please go away. Okay, avoid, 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 avoid. There we go. Male shear grubs are the worst. Come on. There we go. You. No. This is a really mean combination, might I add. I'm just gonna swarm it. Did I lose one? Oh, I did, and it was a purple too? Whoa, 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 oh! I lost a white. I got impatient and decided to swarm it, and I lost a white. Well, I mean, this is one less thing I have to show off. Intriguing! The creature showed its symptoms of poisoning after consuming the white Pikmin. Perhaps white Pikmin extreme poisonous substance when chewed. How fascinating. Well, I lost a purple and a white, so I'm not going to be doing that again. That's not a good sign. I got impatient. Okay, what's in here? More orange bulb orbs? Yes, no, maybe. No? All right. Uh, creeping chrysanthemums are not actually that fun. They're funny. But they're not fun. All right, you, sir, can kindly die. Uh, it's so simple, but so dumb. Alright. He's gonna come out. And stun him. And he's dead. Cool. And it's just female sheer grubs, so nothing to worry about. And this guy, who's also dead. Because the power of purple Pikmin is not to be underestimated. Alright, and we're already done with the floor. Neat. Unless... Oh... Oh... No, I think we're done with the floor. Unless... We get a cutscene. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Da -da 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 -da. The corpulent nut. A lot of nuts recently. Ye I knew it! I knew it! No! Kill him! Okay, he's dead. That was easy. So there will be traps here. Despite people saying otherwise. Uh, let's see. We're, we're done. All right, so there's just one treasure. That's odd. Also, there are all the sheer grubs here. Every single one is to be had. But thankfully, thank, bleh, thankfully this is not Pikmin 1, so I don't need to worry. You can die. Okay, on to the next thing. You know what would be cool for Pikmin? And are there any... I wonder if there are any mods for this. There should be a, a level editor. For Pikmin 4, I would be very happy if people were able to design their own levels. Even if it was a simple thing like this, where they're just walls, essentially. That's all you do. They're walls. And you make boundaries and stuff. That would still be pretty cool. You could probably... Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. I was wondering when he was going to show up. This is one of my favorite enemies of the game. And he's an antenna beetle. I love... You know, he's probably going to pop up near here. Come on, buddy. Where is he? Oh, he's still back there. So, the antenna beetle are equipped with a whistle. Oh, I was talking about level editors. I guess I'll talk about that first. But imagine if there was a level editor that people could submit their custom stages. No! Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness no Pikmin decided to drink. Do I even have any? I have one leaf, so he would have died. <sighs> so cheap. 
but that'd be really cool for instead of the challenge mode of Pikmin 3 they just have I mean they have preset challenges but they also have a le level editor that'd be neat okay I'm not going to fall for the same mistake again no more traps for me I am done with that life traps I knew it they're out of range right yeah they're fine there we go alright so let's go deal with the antenna beetle first He's jumping around. I can't really use my my treasure gauge until he is gone. He's also pretty dangerous. What he does is his whistle confuses our Pikmin. Not all, besides just our treasure gauge. And puts our Pikmin under his control. It isn't as obnoxious as the puff stool was in Pikmin 1, but it's still it's still there. And he can lead them into hazards. So my first my first uh, plan will be taking out those hazards and then taking out him but first I'll give a, a good display of what happens if he takes control of my Pikmin oh no not okay come on buddy I'm not gonna hurt you this time throw oh he's, he's scared okay so I'll just throw one Pikmin there Let's see what happens is it in range? No. Okay, let's get out of his sight so he won't get scared. Oh, come on. You can get a little bit closer than that. There he, there he goes. There he goes. And there it is. Pikmin are his friend. Now, this guy is kind of localized right now, so he'll be relatively easy to take out. Despite the lag. All right, he's he's dead. It, he's a weird enemy. I I always felt like he, a he didn't mean much harm. I mean, we'll probably check him out in the Picklepedia tomorrow, but I feel like he doesn't mean much harm. But he's also kind of charming because when he comes in, he stumbles, he trips and falls, which is weird. He's just a he's a weird enemy, and kind of cute. He reminds me of those those bugs from. Dragon Ball Z filler in the Saiyan Saga when Nappa and oh and also our treasure gauge is normal now when Nappa and and Vegeta go to the bug planet and they they do things and and get a pet and they get arrested Dragon Ball filler filler is really weird especially in those times before the characters were really established I mean I, I haven't watched Dragon Ball but I, I know Dragon Ball Z, when the characters are still new, like the, uh, come on, like the, the Saiyan so Saga filler with, with, uh, with Vegeta and Nappa, the characters weren't really known yet, and they didn't know what they wanted to do with them in the show, and so they just do random things, like go to bug planets. Okay, kill him. All right, fairly easy. Oh, there's a treasure here. Wait for him to blow up the bomb and nope, won't be able to kill him this time. Maybe next time. Next time. There we go. The key is to hit him while he has the bomb in his hands or his mandibles. I don't know where the other beetle is. Okay, we're good when they're in his hands because then he'll throw it far away from him okay you guys dig that up I have no clue what it is but it's apparently important it's apparently something they want to dig up and I who am I to stand in their way is it a gem is it another nut because wistful wild is nutty it's a gem neat this is where we need to go so we'll take that down quickly and they have a gem. Neat. Now, if you've played Pikmin 3, which I, I know, I, I'm fairly certain at least one of you in the comments that I've seen comment has only played Pikmin 3 and ha doesn't know a lot about these games. But, okay, nothing behind here. Cool. But yellow Pikmin don't have their, their benefit of digging better like they do in Pikmin 3. Uh, there's no difference between digging, which is kind of, it's one of those things, now if you haven't played Pikmin 3, I'll tell you that Yellow Pikmin's special ability uh, in that game, besides being able to be immune to electricity, they can dig better than any other Pikmin, 
which is an extremely niche ability, but it's it's there and it's something they can do. Also, really, am I? Is the cave clear? Is this another one of those things where there's nothing to be found? Where are you? I don't know where the other one is. There isn't another one. Oh, all right. Kill him, please. Yeah, that's weird. Wait, did we just lose Pikmin? No, we lost them in the first sub-level. I'm, I'm blind. Yeah, I'll, I'll might as well clear out this area. Because there's a trap there, and that might contain a spray. You never know. Let's back Pikmin away. Walk them through here first. Nothing. And nothing again. Alright, so there's nothing to be seen here at all. Well... We'll bring them over this way, see if there's another trap that may be good. You never know. No, this area is just empty for no reason. That's one of the things I don't like about the random level designer. Is that sometimes that happens. There are just rooms that are that have no purpose. I mean, there's still the same number of enemies and treasures on every floor, but sometimes rooms just get the, the short straw and they don't do anything. Also, that's kind of janky. You can see the... In fact, you can do it here, too. You can see that they're just kind of floating there. That's odd. But yeah, Yellow Pikmin have kind of had a an unsure identity since the very beginning. In the first Pikmin game, they could carry bomb rocks. It was really useful. In the second Pikmin game, they not only fly, fly, fly higher, but now they're suddenly immune to electricity, which they were not in Pikmin 1 because there was no electricity in that game. Which is interesting, because technically, in Pikmin 1, there were only two elemental Pikmin. And Yellow Pikmin were just the weird stepchild. Whoa! Where am I? I'm missing Pikmin. Where are they? Oh, they're on the gate. Well, that was good of them to do that. They got out of the way. But yeah, they've had some weird identities in the series. I'm not sure why. I mean, to be fair, they've always kind of... I mean, okay, I, I will dare say... It climbed over off-screen, okay. I will I will dare say that they are the best... One of the best Pikmin. Uh, lag, please go away. I don't have anything left to delete on my computer, I don't think. I'll, I'm gonna have to delete something. But they are the best Pikmin... In Pikmin 2. Uh, whoa, ow. Oh, boy, that was the worst time to unpause. There we go. I think I have... Yeah, I have everything. Yeah, I had to clear off files or else that... I would not have been able to play the game or record it. It would not have been very fun to watch. Please kill him. I should not be swarming Pikmin on this guy randomly. They're elemental types for weakness. I mean, if you look at the game in the terms of there being only... One or two insta-kill insta-kill status effects. Oh, please don't do it. Please don't do it. I know you're about- you're trying to hold in that sneeze. Hold in the sneeze! He did it. Alright. Yeah, they're definitely programmed so that they won't sneeze if Pikmin are on a gate, which is really nice of the programmers to do so. But there's only one insta-kill status ailment in the game, and yellow Pikmin are immune to it. I mean, except for bombs. Those don't really count. Oh, boy. That's a dastardly combination. Running, 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 running. I lost one. He could not run fast enough. <sighs> so the weak, the weak die. The strong survive. Dumb traps. Dumb traps doing dumb things. So they're good for that reason, but otherwise they're kind of useless. Although, to be fair. Even the guide recommends that for the final boss, uh, and the final cave in general, because electricity is such a big thing there, that you only take in, ye uh, yellows, which, that, that indicates that they're good. It, just, it also, it may also indicate that the guide's bad, but, they they are good. I would, if I were... I can't say that blues are useless either because there's so many there's so much water in the game. I knew it. Oh, I didn't know it actually. I just said that. Where's the missing a Pikmin? He's right here. Okay. <sighs> Volatiles are the bane of my existence. Followed shortly by not even Wallywogs anymore. Fo sh followed shortly by 
electric dweevils. Those things are terrible. And they, they're one of the biggest murderers of Pikmin in the series so far. Is, are there any other treasures that I need to be on the lookout for? No. No, there's only one. Neat, I guess. What do you... What? Oh, they're in Olimar's party. <laughs> that was That's really awkward, and that's not supposed to happen. But somehow they magneted onto Olimar. I'm guessing I, I switched over... Oh, wait, 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 wait. End slate. Where? There we go. End slate. Neat. I'm guessing they locked onto Olimar, or onto the president, right as I was switching, I guess, and it glitched it. That's that's probably what happened. All right, so the treasures are cleared to this floor. It's kind of weird because there are only one or two treasures on each floor, but there are a lot more floors, so you have to work harder for them. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I saw a big open area. That means a boss. Does it mean a boss? What does this mean? What does this mean? I don't know what this means. It looks like a boss. I don't remember there being a boss here. We're not supposed to fight you yet. I knew there was a boss. Not on the final floor, mind you. I believe this is the pilly, pilated snagret. Yeah, we're not supposed to fight this yet. This is something we're supposed to see for the first time in the Snagrit Hole. I, I guess I shouldn't spoil that, but... Okay, so... What am I supposed to do here? I, I, I need to kill it, obviously. But I also want to explore a little bit. Also, this is the worst possible arena to fight it in. The, the, they're shifting sand for some arbitrary reason. Brush that so it goes in my Piclopedia. But what am I doing? Is there only one treasure here? I think there's only one treasure here. And it's inside him. Or her. It looks like a her to me. So we're killing this now. Neat. So I'm gonna need yellows. Uh, let's see. What am I even gonna need? Because this thing hops around, but it also isn't that high. It's big! But it's not that big. So, everything but blues and whites. And also, in case you're wondering, which, why would you? Because you don't have my brain. This is the enemy that uh, caused me a lot of trouble as a child. Or it's one of the enemies that caused me a lot of trouble as a child. So I ended up beating it because I, I realized that if I fought it in normal combat, I would end up not being able to carry pick, carry its treasure back to the, the ship. And so I ended up just sacrificing whites to it in a weird ritual and end up dying that way all right so oh it can cover a lot of ground really quickly also the camera's a bit weird there throw a pikmin on it neat okay whistle him back up i think i can do this with just yellows it's a little bit awkward he can cover so much ground at one point whoa 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 no whoa no really uh, the sand is on, getting on my nerves. There is a, a burrowing snagger here as well. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for it to to do its slow get up. Because that'll help me a lot. Uh, I need to be careful of the burrowing snaggeret. Let's boost to the other side. It's hard to run up this. Okay, next time will be it. I, I'll throw him on it regardless. There. It missed, I think? Yes, it did. It missed. Get out. Throw him on it. Nice, nice. Good hits. Great hits. Great hits. Okay. Spray him up again. And there's the slow get up again. It's really not that bad if I just stay in the center, but that's not what I want to do. I, I want to be out of this. I guess it's not so bad if I'm just trying to hold my ground and not run away. It's just a matter of trying to adjust the cursor. Oh, this was a miss. Uh, wait. Readjust. 
and kill it before it comes back out? I uh, maybe? Maybe? Or does it get him? It gets him. Alright. Well, that's fine. Oh, the Pikmin screamed a little bit. And it's dead. Whew. I, I was kind of wanting its body, so I got it. And now I guess I'll just take reds. Not purples, because they're, their throw is really weird, and I have to get used to it every time I, I, I use the reds. So I'll just use this to defeat the burrowing snagrit. I'm not sure if there are multiples, though. That's going to be a problem. I, I feel like there might be two, just for... Synergy's sake! Throw him on! Nice! Sit down to half health. This is a bit awkward. I thought that was a new one, actually. Uh. Yep. Bad throws. Manipulated by the... The sand. Sand is weird. It's... I mean, it's a good mechanic, I think. It makes things challenging and not unfair. But it is kind of hard to deal with. Alright, good battles. Only lost 10 Pikmin. And I assume that's the last Snagrit. Yeah, that's the last Snagrit just because the music stopped. Once we encounter a boss, I, I'm fairly certain the music will continue playing until that boss is dead. Or at least until all bosses on the floor are dead. Because when we face the Emperor Bullblacks, or Bullblaxes, both of them... Uh, the music didn't stop, even though we hadn't encountered one of them. So I'm fairly certain that it works that way, and... And it won't stop until every boss is dead on the floor. Whoa! Lustrous element worth 1,000 Pocos, straight up. That is, hands down, the most valuable treasure we've had thus far. What a... what the va what value... I almost said, what the value? <laughs> Which, yeah, I mean, sure, what the value, but... Normally I don't like saying what the, not because... Honestly, not, not because of what may follow, but because it doesn't make sense. If you say what the, and then insert expletive of choice, it just doesn't... Grammatically, grammatically, it does not make sense to me, and so I don't say it. Well, that's another side quest. I'm doing so many out of sequence, but it's fine. Paya. Link. I swear I only took my eyes off. Oh, it's the ball. The ball. We triggered it. Apparently we did everything. You know, why'd it have to be water? Whoa. Oh, this is bad. I'm manipulating my body. 